Hey guys, so today we're going to do some vector operations with the Casio FX991 calculator. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and delete all this saved data by pressing mode, shift mode, clear all. So the next thing I'm going to do as similar to what we did in the matrix operations. So I am going to input the values of vector A and vector B. So we do that by clicking the mode button three times and then we go into vector mode. So I press three and now the calculator is in the vector mode. So now I'm going to input the values of vector A which is 3i plus 4j plus 5k. So I'm going to press shift and I'm going to press the button five which has a little vector if you see up close on top of it. So now I'm going to enter the dimension of vector A which is 3. Alright, so now it's going to ask me for the coefficients. So the first coefficient is 3. So it's 3i plus 4j plus 5k. So vector A is inputted. Now I'm going to input the values of vector B. So I'm going to do it the same way. Shift, and press 5, press dimensions. I select vector B by clicking 2. And vector B is also going to be a 3-dimensional vector. And it's going to be 2i plus 4j plus 6k. So vector A and vector B is inputted in the calculator memory. So now we are going to do some operations like dot product and cross product. So first for dot product vector A dot vector B. So we're going to sh press sh all clear. Oh sorry. We're going to press shift vector. So I'm going to press 3 to select the vector that I want. So I press 3 and I want to select vector A. And then to select dot product I go shift vector I have to press the right arrow when I come to this menu and you see the dot so I'm gonna select that and then select vector B and press equal to sign that gives me 52 so vector A times vector B the dot product is 52 you can verify this answer if you want. Now we are going to do the cross product. The cross product is done similarly. So I'm going to I'm going to insert a parenthesis just for safety. I'm going to select vector A. And for cross product it's a simple multiplication sign. And then I'm going to select vector B. So vector A cross vector B is 4i minus 8j plus 4k so that is vector a times vector b so if you want to edit any of the values of vector a or vector b you go to the menu and you click 2 and it, if you, you select vector A or vector B you can change the values of them. So that is it with vector operations.